Mario. Hello. Hey there, everyone. This is Danielle playing some Super Mario 64. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, I've configured this to work with a pro hey, controller, Mario. so. Please come by the Baker Cake Room. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. I've mapped B to jump and. A also is jump and Y is is the you know the B button on the N64 controller. It fits better with the way this controller works. Uh, this intro is pretty classic. <laughs> so yeah, this game was essentially the first 3D platformer, and a lot of games still do the same thing today, which is very impressive. Uh, that they've like, for example, Odyssey is pretty much a direct sequel to this game, so Nintendo basically invented the 3D collectathon genre and did a really good job of it. Um, a little bit of a tutorial here. It's a little hard to read on a modern screen with the pixels, but it's, it's alright. It's alright. So, um, what we're going to be doing, I have mapped both of the Z buttons to be the Z trigger, so if I put a rubber band on ZR the way I did in Odyssey, uh, we can permanently crouch, and we still have access to the other Z trigger, just like in Odyssey. Uh, I don't know if that will work yet. Uh, I do know if I backflip like this, I can start running normally, which is an interesting quirk, because, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this game, there's a weird bug. Even though, you know, I, ha I have, I clearly have Cappy on my head here, if I press the Y button to throw her, I won't throw her, it doesn't work. I just, like, punch stuff instead, so I, I don't know what why that bug's there. It took them, like, decades to fix it and finally let you throw Cappy. But, yeah, so we can't actually cancel our backflips and stuff by throwing Cappy, but fortunately, for some reason, after a backflip, you can just run around normally, which is going to help us a lot in our quest. Uh, because otherwise we'd be stuck crawling for the entire game. Um... We can't press the other Z trigger, even though, like, I'm holding down the... Even though, you know, just, I've got two of them. Pressing the other one doesn't do anything, because this, like, console actually only has the one Z button. I wasn't sure whether that would work or not. It won't, so we can't ground pound. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. And yeah, if we stand still for a little while, Mario will start crawling like this. Uh, oh, we can just punch to get out of crawling. Okay, that's actually a lot easier than I thought it was. Um, hmm. I'm gonna grab a couple of stars and see how we go. <laughs> uh, you may know that there's a Lakitu sort of guide thing here by the- whoops. Oops. Thankfully holding Z does nothing in water, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, unlike in Odyssey, you don't ground pound in water. Uh, also unlike in Odyssey, swimming in water affects your health, which is weird. Uh, you can see how there's just the power bar at the top there. It goes down, you go to the top, it goes back up. That's your health. Like, it's not a separate bar for your air meter. Which is an interesting decision. I am still holding Z, so the fact that I'm running around normally right now, uh, that's just because this game lets you run around instead of crouching for a couple of seconds. For some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, uh, there is a way to skip this Lakitu, but I don't know how to do it, so I didn't. Uh, I can hear the sound. Because this is an emulator, I'm using the um, USB headphones that I have uh, in order to hear the game sounds without it getting into the microphone. So that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, yeah. I'm heading to the castle. Uh, well, someone said that, obviously, so someone must be here. So yeah, you can actually cancel the crouch in this game just by doing essentially any of Mario's moves, and you still get access to all the jumps and stuff. So we should be able to get most stuff without too much trouble. The main restriction because of the permanent crouch is that we can't ground pound. Uh, interestingly, we also can't long jump, even though we're holding the long jump button, which is Z, we, we can't do a long jump. So that might be a problem. Uh, I have to press B there instead of A because I remapped A and B around. It's a little weird, but it works out okay. Because jump is in the spot I want it to be, and that's all that matters. 
All right, so usually the first star people go for in this in this uh, in Bob on Battlefield here is that one behind Chain Chomp's gate. Uh, we can't ground pound the chomp uh, the chomp pole because we can't ground pound at all. There is another way to get it by using a Bob on to clip inside. I don't know if we can pull that off. Um, it would be cool, but I, I don't know if we can do it. Uh, also, the uh, Camera controls are sort of backwards from the way I'm used to. I'm not sure. And they're actually analog either, because there was only one analog stick on the N64. Uh, it's a little bit annoying. Um, we might actually go and... So yeah, um, we can just basically run around normally for the most part, which is interesting. Because um, yeah, I am holding the Z button here, but it's not affecting things. Hmm. So yeah, um, a lot of your moveset in this game is the same as in Odyssey. You have, uh, you know, the triple jump and the dive and the side flip and, um, you haven't got a spin jump in this game. You can spin by jumping on certain enemies, but you can't just spin wherever you want. Uh, and instead of throwing Cappy, because she's not allowed to leave your head, she can get stolen, but you can't throw her for some reason. Uh, instead, you punch with, with the throw Cappy button. You can also dive, as you can see. Uh, like in Odyssey, um, although it doesn't quite give you as much uh, capability because you can't use it to do it like a cap bounce because you can't throw Cappy first. Uh, so that's a bit disappointing. Uh... Okay, so here's the King bob -omb. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight this guy. Uh, no big deal, though. Uh, this should be pretty easy. Basically, you just gotta get up behind him. Uh, and grab him from behind. You can't capture him, but you can't throw Cappy in this game for some reason. Uh, oh, okay, so you don't want to dive. Uh, you have to actually punch from behind. Uh, so you have to sort of go go a bit slower, uh, like that. Now I'm calling again, so if I do a quick punch, there we go. So yeah, it's a lot easier to cancel a crouch in this game, unlike in Odyssey, where you can basically only cancel a crouch in mid-air. Uh, in this game, you can cancel a crouch wherever you want, just by doing a punch or a jump or anything, really. Which is interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they designed it that way, but it's the first 3D game, so there weren't any other games to look at. <laughs> I mean, not the first 3D game, but the first 3D platformer, certainly. Uh, there were lots of other games that were in 3D prior to this one, they just weren't, you know, platformers. Or at least not platformers anyone remembers. <laughs> there we go. I hope my volume's okay. Um, I have headphones on, so I can't exactly hear how loud I am. Anyway, uh, we beat that guy. Breaks the fourth wall and tells you you can select the star from the menu, which is something you actually can't do in Odyssey. You can't redo uh, bosses by just going back to the level they're in. Uh, there is a way to rematch bosses, so that's kind of similar, but it's not quite the same. Okay, so we have one power star now, uh, which is a good start. Uh, let's get another one in here, I reckon. I don't know how long I'm gonna make this video. I'm probably pretty short. It's, you know, it's a trial more than anything else. Uh, I could do Foot Race with Cooper the Quick. Uh, yeah, alright, let's do the Foot Race with Cooper the Quick. So, the way to do the Foot Race best is to cheat. There's a couple of different ways you can cheat. Um, and he only, he only knows about some of them. So, if you do one of the other ones, you'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, also, this kind of rips off the Cooper free running mini game. Cooper the Quick is basically the same thing. So I can't believe this game ripped off Odyssey so much. Um, anyway, you just come down here. Uh, this is the way I usually cheat. Uh, you come down here, you press this switch, which opens the gate. Uh, then you go talk to Cooper the Quick to start the race. I am still crouching, by the way, in case you were wondering. There we go. 
<laughs> so yeah, um, pretty much any move you do while while crouching like this will stop you. Uh, break dancing. There we go. Uh, it's weird. I don't know why they designed it that way. <laughs> yeah, I beat the big bob on. Okay, so basically you have to race Cooper the Quick to the top of the mountain where we went in the previous star. Uh, fortunately, Cooper the Quick is pretty slow. I would say this is probably easier than some of the races in Odyssey. Harder than some of the other races in Odyssey, though. Basically, uh, Cooper the Quick doesn't know that we opened this gate and doesn't know about this shortcut, so I'm going to take the shortcut and it's going to be really easy. Uh, we can't do a long jump, which is a shame, because that would make us a bit quicker. Uh, it also means we can't do a backwards long jump, which is a shame, because those are pretty cool. Uh, if you're familiar with this game, you may know why they're cool. <laughs> uh, if you use any of the teleporters, there's a couple of teleports in this level. Uh, that's cheating the that Cooper the Quick does know about, so you can't actually do that. Uh, you also can't use the cannons, I believe. Um, but the, using the gate like that is more than enough to get you there with heaps of time to spare, so no big deal. There we go. Uh, unlike in Odyssey, you have to wait for him to arrive after that. You can't just automatically get the moon, which is a bit annoying. There we go. Human blur. Here we go. How did this game ripped off the noise for getting a moon? Like, that noise is not a C2, what a ripper. And that's weird, Mario takes off his hat there, but he doesn't do it normally. Normally, he can't take off his hat. Hmm. Okay, we have two stars now. I think we might have a look at Womp's Fortress. I know we can't do everything in Bob on Battlefield because we can't ground pound, but we can do most stuff. Uh, okay, and we can go into first person mode in this game, which is interesting. Uh, you remember in Odyssey we couldn't? And there was actually some... We had to stand basically here and go in first person, and we couldn't. In this game we can, that, it, that just cancels out the crouch. So we will be able to do this. Uh, not just yet though. We need some more stars. Uh, this is the entrance to Womp's Fortress, level 2. Uh, this game has 15 levels. It's about the same like amount of content as Odyssey, I'd say. Like, Odyssey has way more moons, but um, a lot of them are much easier to get. Like, they're just out in the open and stuff like that. So I think overall the two games have about the same amount of content. Oh yeah, they don't, they want to tell me that if I like tilt the analog just a little bit, I can move slower, like this. The reason you want to do that is so you can walk up these brighter plants and punch him. You can't capture them for some reason, so that's the best way to deal with them. It's so weird that you can just cancel crouching. This is so much easier. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I mean, Odyssey's way is more fun, I think, because you have to backflip and crouch and, like, cap jump everywhere instead of just walking normally, but this is cool too. Uh, I think we can already... Oh, that's interesting. I thought you'd actually activate the cannon straight off, but you can't. Alright. Um, what we're supposed to do first is head to the top of this mountain here. That's not going well. <laughs> Let's just head over here and grab this coin. Coins heal you in this game, which is kind of weird. It's like, Mario is not Wario, what are you doing? <laughs> it's not Tingle either. <laughs> it's just strange. Uh, I just paused for a second, I want to check what my volume settings are, because it's kind of loud in my headphones. I want to turn it down a bit. Like this. Is that okay? That sounds better. I don't know if that made it quieter for you too. Uh, hopefully it didn't. 
but it's quieter for me and it's less distracting, which is good. Uh, you actually can't like kill these properly if they're already awake, which is why you want to sneak up on them. Oop, all right, can't long jump. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> all right, so that's death of the series. Uh, in this game, dying kicks you out of the level and you lose a life. Unlike in Odyssey, where you only lose 10 coins. And you go back to the beginning of the room or whatever. Um, obviously, this is the first 3D game they hadn't quite realised it didn't really make sense to have lives at this point. Uh, whereas, I mean, they, they didn't realise in Sunshine or Galaxy or Galaxy 2 either, but they did realise for Odyssey, which is why they finally fixed that long-standing issue. Uh, your dive does damage in this game, unlike in Odyssey, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it is actually an attack rather than just a move. Uh, it's used quite a bit differently, I would say, compared to the dive in Odyssey. Just a little punch, there we go. Uh, this is a womp. So basically what you do with these guys is you stand in front of them, they crash down, you can ground pound them. They're a lot like the... Uh, Ogre enemies that the oh right we can't ground pound <laughs> right okay so we can't actually do uh, that first that first stab we can do it we can do a different one so that's not a problem uh, if we come over here I believe we can yeah this should work there we go <laughs> you're supposed to use the cannon over there to get this but you can just do that da -da -da -da. yeah so um yeah that that. That jingle is clearly ripped off from Odyssey because it plays the same jingle in Odyssey. So, yep. <laughs> okay, I can now open up some of the other courses that have three stars in. Uh, but I'll go back into Womp's Fortress. So yeah, we can't actually ground pound the Womp King because uh, we, we don't have the ability to press the Z button because we're already holding it. Uh, that's a little annoying. So it's kind of... Like, rather than being a constantly crouching one, it's like we're not pressing the button in ever. Like, it has the same same basic impact, because for some reason crouching is super easy to cancel in this game. <laughs> um, let me see. I can, I, can, I can do the red coins? Yeah, let's do the red coins. Uh, these guys will push you off into the void, so you got to be careful. Music was mean, obviously. So you see, got to do the red and yellow coins in the same run. Uh, we can't ground pound the blue coin block. I don't know if that'll be a problem. I'm not sure how many coins there are on this level. Uh, I know there's some glitches you can do in order to get infinite coins in this level, but they're like really hard. You need to use past techniques to do it properly. Basically, uh, that cork box I just broke. There's a way to break it. Uh, without the game realizing, and then you can break it again and get another three coins and do that forever. Uh, but it's like frame perfect, so not something I can pull off here. Uh, <laughs> oh no! I may have bitten off more, I can, more than I can chew here. Yeah, you have a lot less uh, air control in this game than you do in Odyssey, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I think if I go in and pick the third star, it'll actually let me do the second star, maybe? Let's have a look. So yeah, shoot into the wild blue. What you're supposed to do is use the cannon to shoot yourself into the wild blue, but we didn't do that. Um, we just did a nice little wall jump uh, instead. Uh, this looks very linear, by the way, but you can actually go around that way if you want. Uh, I won't try because uh, I can't do long jumps, and I think I probably need one uh, to pull it off, but it is possible to go around that way. Uh, rather than this way. It's pretty annoying that Mario has to turn around like that instead of just being facing the other way automatically. Okay, hopefully, if I go up to the top of the tower now, I can actually still get... Nope, Wong King is still here because I haven't beaten him. 
Okay, so it's actually impossible to get the Tower Star as well because we can't kill the Womp King. That's annoying. Um. Hmm. Yeah, you, you have to ground pound him. It's the only way, and we can't do that. So. Hmm. <laughs> Let's look at the red coins again. Like I was trying to do. Uh, there's a way to get. There's a star in. Um. You can see there's a sort of cracked. Like I'm standing in the crack just here. Uh, that one over there, there's a star inside. Uh, which you can get by firing yourself out of a cannon at it, or by doing like a, a ledge grab at the perfect angle. Uh, the ledge grab is hard though. I don't want to pull that off. Uh, so the reason I'm trying to get so many coins is you have to get a hundred coins to get one of the moons in this in this game. Uh, in in each level, I mean, each, each course of the game. Uh, and that one's the only one that doesn't kick you out of the. Well, it's not the only one. It's one of the two uh, types of star in the game that don't kick you out when you get them. Uh, so it's good to do it at the same time as the red coins because the red coins are, you know, coins. So they help you get the yellow coins as well when you do that. Uh, a red coin is worth two. A blue coin is worth five, by the way. So blue coins are very good to get for this. Uh, here we want to watch out and not get uh, you know, killed. That would suck. Oh jeez. Oh my goodness. That was scary. <laughs> okay, uh, standing on this clump is a little bit precarious because of the restrictions placed upon us. Uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we're making good progress. I don't know how well we can do this uh, without access to the blue coin block, because the blue coin block, when you ground pound it, it spawns a whole bunch of blue coins all at once. Which would be really helpful since we're trying to get all the blue coins. <laughs> trying to get, you know, enough coins. Uh, and you have to, like, hurriedly collect them, like a little timer sort of thing. Yeah, crawling up to these guys works well, so the fact that we're forced to crawl sort of is helpful in this situation. <laughs> oh jeez, backflips are scary. Yeah, I'm choosing carefully timed jumps so I don't start crouching. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, the one-up also. There are a lot of hidden one-ups in this game. You don't really need them. But you can get them if you want. Okay, how are we doing? 70. That's not bad. I'm a little worried about the top part. Basically, up there where those floating platforms are, it's a little bit scary. Also, you notice the piranha plants all respawn? That's interesting. A lot of enemies in this game don't respawn. Uh, because they have coins in them. But the plants, they do respawn, they just don't have coins if you kill them again. Uh, coins in this game are finite in each level, theoretically, unlike in Odyssey, where there's, there's an unlimited amount of coins in each area that respawn all the time, and they're very easy to get more of. Okay, uh, I can't fight you, so I won't fight you. Um, let's have a look around here. I can't long jump, either, uh, which means I can't quite very easily get over to some of the stuff that's over that direction. Uh, Maybe I can? Maybe. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, um... Hmm. That was scary. Uh, one of the things about the coin-based healing is because the coins are limited, uh, if you take damage and there aren't any coins nearby, you just stay damaged for quite some time. <laughs> um, 
which can be a bit of a hassle. Uh, I think I actually want to do that walking trick again. Now I think about it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this game has fall damage too. Odyssey doesn't have that. Uh, in Odyssey, you just sort of break your legs and it's completely harmless for some reason. Okay, there we go. Didn't get the star. Uh, if you get a star you've already gotten, you do select at the level, which is annoying. I'm gonna get up here with these coins. There we go. The pole stuff is pretty different to Odyssey. You can see I'm not automatically sliding down even though I'm holding Z. So that's good. Uh, Uh, there are a lot of- there's a lot of stuff that spawns up there where the Womp King is after you beat him, including, like, a bridge you can use to easily- Oh no! To easily get, um, to the floating platforms and stuff. Uh, so the fact that we can't beat the Womp King is a bit of a hassle for that reason as well. Uh, along with the whole, you know, we can't beat the Womp King so we can't get the star that he has. Or the star that would spawn there after you beat him, because there's two of them. That's one in that spot. Here we go. That, 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 that. I know if I jump on your on your back, I can get a coin out of you. So do that. Yeah. I don't think that works for Womp King. It's the little Womps. Yeah, you can walk here for one as well. Oh my goodness. Alright, uh... Okay, so let's take a look around at these platforms and stuff. Uh, I think the closest is the arrow platform there. Uh, maybe I can get to it. Uh, yeah, I can't actually fight you, so... Ah, uh, the camera! Oh my goodness. The boss cam's gonna be a bit of an issue. Uh, that won't hurt you if it squashes you like that, it just looks a bit funny. Uh, so that's something to enjoy if you enjoy that sort of thing. around when I go over there. <laughs> this is horrible. Uh, oh my god. Wait, there's another coin in you? There's more than one? Hang on. How many coins do these guys have? <laughs> well, at least two. Um, three. Okay. Okay. That's useful. a ground pound and you'll actually clip through the boss uh, and hit him from below which is hilarious. Uh, that doesn't work uh, because you can't ground pound obviously. Camera, camera, camera! Uh, <laughs> oh no, the boss cam is so bad. closest thing you have to a cap throw in terms of meter movement. It's not great. Uh, 
My camera. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I nearly made it. Oh my gosh, it's possible. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Uh, the camera in Odyssey is so much better, it's amazing. Because, <laughs> yeah, in Odyssey you have like a full, fully analog camera control, and the camera also is just better. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've been playing a half hour, good lord. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there, I think. Uh, I know I'm gonna have to try to do that course again. Oh yeah, and you don't heal in the course either. Uh I'll grab this coin. I think that's what they're here for. To heal you up. Alright, so uh, that's it for this video. We got uh, two stars in Bob Battlefield, and we got one moon in Womp's Fortress. And that's a decent start. That's three out of 120. Uh, yeah, there's only 120 in this game. Far Cry from 880. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a lot more effort involved in each one than there is in Odyssey, typically. So, it makes sense. Uh, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, uh, I, we might check out one of the other courses we can access. See if there's things we can manage to do. Um there might be, or there might not be, uh, but that's it for this video, um, and yeah, it sure is weird that I can cancel this by just punching, and then I can run around normally, it's pretty helpful though, so yeah, um, that's, that's, uh, Super Mario 64, while permanently crouching, except not, I'm permanently holding Z in any case, uh, I tried to permanently crouch, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Cool, 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 cool. So yeah, if you, if you do the little breakdancing move, then you just walk around. Mario just walks. That's kind of hilarious. You don't have a rolling move in this game, so it's kind of good that I can break out and still move nice and fast with regular walking. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we're going to check out some of the other courses in, in the first room of the castle, I reckon. Uh, we're at three stars. Good start. Uh, there's a toad here who goes invisible if you walk away, it's kind of weird. Um, see, you can see they're disappearing. I, I don't know. Are they ghosts? Are they, are they ghost toads? Goads? Who knows? Thanks for watching. Bye!